Good morning. Good morning, guys. It's your girl Reese coming to you this Tuesday. It's tell all tell God all about it Tuesday. I'm gonna raise this up just a minute. I'm in the kitchen, y'all. It's tell God all about it Tuesday. And um, I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers. I hope you guys are in wonderful spirits today. Feeling good. All that good stuff. If you're not, I pray that you're able to press your way through. And um, it's all good today. Today, one of my life lessons that I want to accomplish is to trust God in the process, learning to accept the seasons, the reasons that I may face. And when I say seasons, seasons of change, people coming and going, reasons why I don't have to know why, and, um, and all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't call what I'm doing a tutorial. This is a kitchen chat, okay? And, um, so yeah, I'm in the kitchen getting breakfast started. It's almost 10 o'clock, and I know some of you have already started your day by now. And totally, you're either at work getting ready to, to take lunch you know some people start lunch at 11 12 you know some already having a little break either way it go good morning so I got my my bowls um, separated here just doing some sausage this morning uh, my husband wants some french toast so I'm getting ready to um, get that situated a lot of times I'm the last one to eat I'm all over the place y'all know my counter space is limited in this kitchen Some sausage for, the, for breakfast, okay? Get some sausages. Not fries this morning. He ain't a happy camper, but it is what it is. It was on 71. I 
don't even know how many eggs I've cracked so far. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do two more. to be the last thing that I cook because it needs to be hot. French toast and the eggs. Put those together. Might not be able to see exactly what I'm doing, but let's see. Ground cinnamon. vanilla extract in it. I miss my Honduran um, vanilla extract. It is dark. I mean dark. And it smells through the bottle, y'all. It smells so good. I just don't like this, this vanilla. You can smell so much of the alcohol. in the um, French toast mix. I sprinkle a little bit of salt, just a little bit. Just a little bit. So we're going to set that aside. I got my sausages on. I have some smoked brats that I am going to boil as well. I might brown a few of them first, and then I'm gonna boil them first. I'm gonna put them in the pot with the rice sausage. water out.
Move the situation, y'all. Yes, she did. Okay. So this is what I'm doing. So that's on. Got it on high. This one is on low. So now. I'm going to cut up. An onion. subscribers wanted to know about this knife that I have. I think she's talking about this green one. I purchased this set from DD's discount, but you can purchase them online on um, on Amazon. They have a lot of um, different knife sets, so you think about what your budget is, and you go on and um, on Amazon. I know uh, somebody in the comment section mentioned that uh, Walmart sell them, and they do. So you can try Walmart, but I only paid like $5.99 for a five-piece set. It was out of $5.99 or $7.99, one of them. It was under $10, put it that way. in my mouth. I don't do onions like that. Ooh. No, ma'am. I don't like them raw. I like them where they about during their pulverized. Well, you don't even know they're in there. I like the way they flavor your food. I don't like the rawness of onions. I really don't. Once you cut an onion, you shouldn't put it back in the refrigerator. Well, I don't know what to do. But, um, what it, just a minute, Corey. But, um, that bad boy going back in the, in the refrigerator. Broccoli. I'll eat raw broccoli. 
like raw fish and I'm gonna say I don't like raw fish I've never had raw fish but me I can't stand the smell of raw fish okay <laughs> mm -mm. meaning when I'm cleaning it but to eat it it's like certain scent certain things after I eat it I don't want to smell it on me you know so you know it'll be of course you're supposed to wash your hands and all that but I don't know my sense of smell. I'm just gonna talk about me. I don't know about nobody else. But like, even after I eat oxtails, I cannot eat oxtails, wash my hands and face, or whatever, and go outside because it's like the freshness of those oxtails, the scent be stuck in my nose. Ooh, I don't know. When that air hit it, it just, I don't know if y'all can understand what I'm talking about because I really can't put it into words. But it's just certain things. Um, like eggs, scrambled eggs in the morning. After I eat them, for the, the scent to linger in the house, mm -mm. and then when you open the door, it just gives. I just can't stand the, the scent. I just tight. Oh, I just tight. Mm -mm. Who came up with dollar items? But baby, thank you. Just making sure it's still going. This video might be kind of long, y'all. So don't. If y'all not in the mood for me today, I told her to understand, y'all. I, I do. This is bacon grease. Now, um, somebody commented that when I mix, what I said, chicken. They say chicken, beef, and pork together wash that there's no more in there that when I mix chicken beef and pork together if you don't do that will it change the taste no the beef um basically I use the beef and the chicken to add more flavor um but according to your taste or per your taste if you don't do pork, it's not going to matter. I mean, the, the bacon um, grease, you know, a lot of people don't do that type of stuff. And I totally understand. I totally understand. But, um, you know, the neck bones are basically pork anyway. Hey, stay. Let me double check. Those neck bones we buy, aren't they pork neck bones? They yeah. Indeed. So they're pork anyway. So that's pork. And then the beef flavor that I add, it just gives it a, a depth of flavor to me. One that I like. You know, before I knew what teaspoon and tablespoon of butter was, my granny would say, or you would hear people say, a little pat of butter. <laughs> so that just basically means you just cut a little piece of butter, a little pat of butter. So that's what I just put, a little pat of butter. Or basically, one tablespoon of butter. I just put it in. Four slices. Okay. I gotta let your sausages cook a little bit before I put your French toast on. You know, the French toast and eggs gotta be last. Have to be last so they can be hot. You know, eggs. Mm -hmm. According to the way my husband like his eggs, boy, you cannot let them get hard. They got to be at a certain stage for him. Yeah. So, eggs, 
and French toast. I need another pan for what I'm getting ready to make. everybody tell them hi say hi everybody to eddie jogay she's saying hi y'all hi you gonna blow kisses Mwah. Mwah. great job Mwah. great job <laughs> people people P five, she always miss her eye. Look, <laughs> P five, P five, Ganny, that's Ganny boogie. Mm. Tell him you praising the Lord. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Ganny. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> You gonna cook food like Ganny? Cause it's a lot of stuff your mama don't cook. I know your daddy know how to cook, but your mama, she know how to cook, but some things she won't cook. Homegirl swore us down, she don't eat oxtails. But the dinner I cooked the other day, she ate it. She was like, dog, that was good. What kind of meat was that? I told her oxtails and neck bones. She don't eat neck bones either. Isn't that right? Say, but Suki ate it. Suki ate it real well, didn't you? Say, I ate it all too, Gammy. Gammy ate it all gone. Yes! Yes! Frozen. That water on those potatoes gonna help steam those. She right here. 
ahead, babe. Steam the potatoes. And that water is gonna steam those vegetables too. be a little unsanitary y'all Squeamish. Did she just? finish her bottle. She do not like to be on lockdown. This is garlic pepper seasoning. Just a little. Sausages are cooking. Mm -hmm. I need me a bottle of water. So now, before I do my um, I might need to do a pot of grits. Because I don't think I need to um, do um, Pancakes and hash browns. Mm, I, I know you want French toast, J Bug. Be 
acting crazy. See how I do? Yeah, this is a new stove. See, it don't want to set. See that? When I get to the point of making my pan, my French toast and eggs, I'll be back. Okay, you guys. I am getting ready to start my start my um, eggs and French toast. Eggs will go in this pan. French toast in this one. Got some vegetable oil in here. Put a little bit in the bottom. A little bit of vegetable oil. I'm gonna put some butter. It's not even a, a tablespoon. Now that's a little pat of butter. Yeah. know um somebody mentioned to me about when I make my oxtails to put a little gravy or flour in it um if you look at some of my older videos um I used to do that but when I was pregnant with Corey you know how hormone change hormone changes and all that kind of stuff my husband don't like gravy anymore so he don't like the thickening part it just do something to his palate so I don't add flour anymore but what I will do that was the purpose of adding potatoes because if I let them cook long enough I don't mean for the potatoes to dissipate but even with cooking certain things if you let them cook long enough I don't mean to they mush it but a thickening will come to it and um you know So that's why I don't add the flour anymore. Some things I can add flour to and he won't know the difference. But some things I can. Still frying my potatoes. I added a little water to steam them. So now that they are steamed like that, I'm going to take the lid off. I'm not going to put the lid back on. Just let that continue to turn it down. Put this one back up. Down to almost on low. So I'm gonna pour my eggs over here. I'm gonna turn these a little bit.
some Texas toast. We're getting ready to put in this thing. Four slices. This is one. Three of these. That's two. Eggs come along very well. Boy, whoever created Gnostic pies is the business. Okay. And this is the stage that my husband likes his eggs at. Right here. I got to get rid of a little bit of that white. But yeah, you don't like them no harder than that. And I always scrape them off the top. my warming eye on. Okay. Switch sausages and that to the warming eye. <laughs> French toast almost done. back here in the back. Y'all see it right here. Put some of these sausages. Let them brown up. Get a little color on them things. Yeah. We got us a whole breakfast right here. Done. 
Bye, Sue.